Hi, man, team Union, the West Ham versus Freiburg review 1 0 to Freiburg and the 2 team result against Burnley today. Freiburg at home, so away 1 0. I didn't, uh, it's the same thing with Everton. We didn't do that much. I feel like our, we didn't do much because of David Moyes. Is Tactics. His tactics are not working really well. (coughs) We gave him a good fight, but it's not enough. We don't have that mentality of thinking, oh, we're going to... We need to fight. Yes, his first leg, but we... It's just like... The result, the result means everything to us because we might not even get Europe, but we we have a certain chance of losing to Freiburg, and Freiburg were I thought Freiburg they were a good team, but the problem is is that we've played against them three times and yet we we lost to them that match. We didn't do that much. The mistake from Zuma, I don't understand why does this keep happening. We keep giving the ball away, and the fact that we keep giving the ball away and which that leads them to goals, goals. Stupid. Baguetto is was underperforming. We did have good chances, but I, I did not like the fact that we lost because of a stupid mistake. And I'm and I'm bored of seeing mistakes happening, and then which would lead to goals. It's not a good thing. We do this constantly, and David Moyes doesn't do anything. He doesn't do anything, and that's my problem. When are we going to fix our defense? When are we going to say that's it? Training has to happen because we've got players like Maverick Panos, Agred. And Zuma, who's been letting goals, it's unfair for the team that actually wants to fight, and it's not fair the fact that we had to put one. When as soon as their goal happened, we had to put Calvin Phillips on the team. Why do we need Calvin Phillips? We don't even need Calvin Phillips today. We don't even need Calvin Phillips ever. We don't even need to use him. He's our worst signing since Roberto and Zaza. Why do we need? Someone who is quite a constant reminder that he makes mistakes. He's not. He, he wasn't even good at Man City. He wasn't even good at at Leeds United. He he, he was got some. He, he wasn't even good. He, got, he had poor performances. He didn't even deserve to be in the Euros for England. He didn't even deserve to to be in the World Cup. He's just that poor. We never really need him. We, and and our. And we need more of an attack. The worst possible thing to happen, 94th minute. 94th minute, their play, fireball player handballs it inside the penalty box. We had to wait for four minutes for the referee to decide if that's a penalty. It's a stonewall penalty. He, he touches the ball, he jumps up, clearly clicks the ball. He jumps up to clear the ball with his hand. It took them four minutes to decide whether that's not a pen. He went inside the box and touched the ball with his hand. I want my revenge on that. I think that was a stupid thing from the referee to not giving us that penalty because he took four minutes of our time to wonder, oh, is that a penalty? Yes, is that a a penalty. You had the audacity to not give the that penalty. You had the audacity to to not do your job properly. You never do your job properly. When are we going to see the referee actually going to do their job properly? And you wait while you wasted four minutes of your time doing absolutely nothing. You wasted. Four minutes of the tra- fans' time. You mean the four minutes of the players? We could have scored a goal from those four minutes. We could have actually fight back. 
and rather than just waiting for the referee to sit to stand in the the VAR machine and tell him it's not a penalty, that was a waste of time. To I mean, usually when the referee looks at the screen, it's clear and obvious that they'll give it that a penalty. He did not give that a penalty. I can never understand why. What kind of I mean, if someone touches the ball outside the inside the area and just blocks the ball with their hand, what do you what do you expect that to happen? If he didn't touch the ball with his hands, yeah, where would the ball go? So if it so you check shoots and their defender doesn't touch the ball with the hand, which he did. Then where would the that could have been a a shot could have been anywhere. That was, that, was a, that mistake was clear and obvious. And I want my revenge on Sunday. I don't care. I don't. I don't care. I want to prove that that a referee that oh you can't you can't win with twelve men. You can't win with twelve men. You can't win. Uh, you can't practice a football match with referees who can't do their job. How can we? How can any football club? go to their training sessions and train for a match that's 11 men and then the, and then you realise at the beginning of the game to the end of the game and actually in fact you're playing against 12 men because the 12th man is the referee from Fireball Carlos the bloody Carlos who whatever your name is doesn't matter what your name is, because you're just a you're just a waste of time, man. That is a disgusting decision. Burnley, um, I thought the first half was poor. Thirty three percent shot. Um, thirty three percent shot. So thirty percent percent. Thirty three percent of no certain shots. We had no shots on target. We only had thirty three percent against the team. That's literally in the Premier. It's in the bottom half of the league. That's it. Is it? Is it? They're in the bottom of the top, the bottom three of the league. How can we underperform against a team that is literally in the bottom of the bottom three? They're Burnley. They've only won three matches. Two wait one home this is a team that has, can't score goals yet we allowed them to score goals Fofana what that was a good goal from Fofana but the question of the day is why put Mavro Panos Agred Phillips three guys that can't defend three guys that just makes mistakes Allow them to play in the front in the team. I don't want to see Marvin Panos ever play in, the football, in, the, in our team ever again. He should be out. He's only had one game, and that was against Arsenal. That was against Arsenal. That, that's just annoying me. Phillips can't even do anything. He's just a he's just a a rock. He's he's just standing there. And, and if you look at back of Fernandez's goal. He puts his he just does this while Fofana is running. He's not making a tackle. He's not doing anything. I'm I i want to know when when has Phillips ever had a good game? I I don't think he ever had a game a good game against teams when he played when play against Man City or Leeds, he doesn't even deserve to be in our squad. I think he deserves to be in League One, League Two, maybe amateur football because that's where he deserves to play. He does not deserve to be in our team. He should be in the reserves. He has always put his more trust on Calvin Phillips than players like Scarls and players like Mbama. Uh, and that's just stupid. I think that's just stupid. And then Akred, Akred has been our worst defender this season. The guy literally just gives the ball away every game. And he just doesn't realise how bad his performance
Well, he doesn't make improvements. He makes the team worse. He didn't play against Freiburg. He didn't play against Everton. And then that's just a sign saying that you can't defend anymore. You're not the, a good defender as last season you were. You're just cr- not even a, you're just below average this season. S- second half, taking off Phillips, taking off Ward Prowse for Antonio. And this is why I don't hear why do we only perform on the second half of the game? Everton, we didn't do that much. Freiburg, we didn't do much sexual second halves. Burnley, why? It's just 50 50 football, and he's using the same tactics as last season 50 50 football. Not doing that much. Just sit back, lay back, let the other opposition teams have the ball more, and it's annoying. We're lucky that we that we got a point, and we're lucky that we got a point because we got screwed. Because we got screwed, we should have got three points, but we shouldn't even concede those two goals. Those two, yes, for finals have won the goal. But we should have cleared out the Mary Panels. Is a mistake. Josh Cullen, from my standpoint, now plays at Burnley, had a better game than players like Mary Panos and Phillips. Yeah, we shouldn't have sold him. I like Cullen. I think Cullen was a great player, but he's just. I don't think Moyes trust the youngsters. That's why he has to put him in the. Into buying his squad because he doesn't trust the youngsters, he doesn't he just trust like players that want to make mistakes. And it's, it's really annoying me that he, that's how his style plays. It's really annoying. The worst thing happened, so and I, I, I don't, I don't know the number 44 for Burnley. I don't care about the number 44 for Burnley. I don't care that Burnley is in the relegation. I, I, I honestly couldn't care two bits about relegation about Burnley. I, I don't care. But number 40... Danny Ings should have got two goals. I'm sorry, but Danny Ings should have got two goals. And yet, it's an offside decision. I don't understand. Why is it offside? I got told that the ha- the hands don't count as offside. Fine. If the hands don't count as offside, then how can Burnley's number 44? I don't care who he is because I don't really care about Burnley. I, I, I honestly couldn't care about Burnley Football Club. But how can VAR say that Antonio was offside when clearly you can see the leg of Burnley's number 44 that this was more I was putting him onside and Antonio was offside and that doesn't make sense in school they, in saved us and like he, they had to ruin it VAR doesn't like us VAR doesn't care they just below average minds that control football, and it's really annoying to to see people who have to who enjoy the corruption in football. They don't care about football. I don't think anyone in the in the Premier League referees, Europe League, they don't care about the football. They don't care. They get paid for doing nothing. I don't think the referee. I mean, the referee had a put even before the. I don't think the referee had a good game this 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 match. I think he was poor. Burnley was aggressive, but they but there was no foul. But there's no red cards. They were they were more aggressive than us. But they but then they can just be happy. I don't care. They can get be happy with their point, but I don't think they're gonna be in the Premier League next season. Get happy with the point, go to back go back to championship because you're not ready for the Premier League. And then, of course, 
of course, night and TT referees and like it, referees and like that we had a second goal. TT and fine. They don't like us. They don't like the Premier League. They're ang I bet you right now that the referee who managed our game today didn't like the fact that we scored again from Ings. I bet you, Hunt, I bet you that the referees got annoyed that we scored 2-2 two -two because clearly Burnley had 12 men. Sander Berger, Berg, Sander Berg from Burnley, he didn't, he didn't play football, he played volleyball. He was the he played he was playing a different type of sport. He didn't play football. The ball he was inside the box, trying to catch the ball with his hands. The ball touched his hands. The ball went on the ground. How can someone try to catch the ball and drop the ball after the ball touching his hands? Not count as a penalty, they didn't even detect, but they should have checked the screen. They should have checked the screen because that's clearly a handball and a full time up to sport. The um, football channel, so they were saying highlights, it's clearly a handball. They don't like us, they don't, they, 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 don't, they don't care if we be. Freiburg on first eight, they're gonna get angry. They're gonna get angry that we that we beat Freiburg. They got angry that we drew against Burnley because they don't they don't care about us. They don't care about the Premier League. What do they care? Money, money, money. Total utter corruption. And this is not just from. I'm not saying oh they, the Prem. I'm not saying this is. The referee decision should only go to us. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that even today, the docu um docu challenge on McAllister that should have been a penalty to Liverpool. Even today, the the Kai Havertz yesterday Kai Havertz's um dive that should have been a, a red card for Kai Havertz, but they don't really care. They don't really care about the football I say. When I say they don't, they don't care about us. They don't care about foot. I mean, they don't care about football. They don't care about football. They don't, they don't care what match is going on. They don't care who's who's playing. They don't care. They them they, they're waiting. FA is seriously wasting on money on waste mans who can't do their job properly. If you're a if you're a teacher. And you can't do your job properly. The principal's gonna get will get you fired. If you're a police officer and you're breaking the law, you're gonna get fired. If you're if you're if you are in a business and you lose a lot of your money from that business, the business owner is gonna fire you. So if these examples of poor management and poor workers who messed up their job, they get fired. Why can't we get that? Why can't we get that from the referees, the FA? Why can't the money go to charity? I would rather see money's going to charities and seeing referees getting paid for absolute nothing. There's so much corruption in the Premier League. And it's just annoying to see how much stupidity they can get. How stupid can they get? They don't deserve the money. They don't deserve to get paid. If they manage a football, if they manage a football team, they're gonna get sacked in the first day. I don't care. Sacked in the first day. I'm seriously annoyed how we performed. And we suffer the consequences because one, we can't do our job, and two, we we have we can't win football matches 
or debt. You can't do anything because of 12 men. You can't win a match of 12 men. Thanks guys for watching this video. Hopefully, we get something update. Freiburg did one win their match in Bundesliga today. 2-1. I don't know. I don't care who they beat. I think, but again, it's just stupidity wins. You can't, you can't win with 12 men. Hit the subscribe button if you hit the like button if you enjoy this video. Um, the next video will be on Freiburg on second leg for review. Hopefully we win. Um, this, and yeah. Peace, I'm out. Come on your eyes.